boy, this book that I'm reading, oh, it's intense. It is. I'm, mm, I'm, mm, mm. Okay, anyways, I'm not, like, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Just this book, man, this book. Literally. God damn, this book. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm a-okay. I'm fine. It's just a book. It's not like <laughs> my heart is broken or anything. Like, <laughs> why would that happen from a book? Like, <laughs> no way would that <sighs> make any sense. Um, <laughs> damn this book. Anyways, um, how are you today? <laughs> um, oh my god, this book, man, like, I cannot get over it, like, <laughs> the amount of times that I've wanted to strangle a fictional character in the past, like, 20 minutes alone, <sighs> it's a fictional character, so, like, it's not murder if you kill a fictional character, right, like, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm like way into this book. Like, girl, it's not even funny. Like, mm. <sighs> damn, this book is good though. Like, <laughs> as much as much as it's heart wrenching, it's like it's oh so good. Like, oh my god. Like, hello, sweet, sweeting, sweetling. I'm going. Oh my god. Sorry. Um. My phone is currently dying, so, like, <laughs> you know, um, I could charge it, but, like, you know, I'm kind of lazy, so we're just gonna, like, let it stay off the charger, because, like, my charger's already plugged in on the bed, but, like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to move. <laughs> um, yes, I am, like, unabashedly, unabashedly, good God, words escape because, like, I literally, like, <laughs> it's annoying. Um, yeah. Also, I realized, like, recently, like, my vocab and, like, um, vocabulary and, like, my way of speaking has kind of, like, aged. Like, it sounds like I'm, like, from... I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. It's probably my imagination. I'm just like reading a lot of historical fiction, which, <laughs> believe me, is as infuriating as it is amazing. Cause like, it's not historically accurate. Um, but like, it's also irresistible. Cause like, the premise <laughs> of like most of these historical fiction like novels is like there's this like pompous asshole who's like arrogant and thinks he's all that and like, Yada yada yada, I think he's a gentleman and everything and he deserves anything that he gets. And then there's like a fiery like woman who's like, Hey, fuck you dude, like fuck you and your societal norms, like fuck you, I don't care if I live in the eighteen hundreds, I'm gonna rebel and blah 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 and then they end up falling in love and then he ends up being tamed and like vice versa for her and like it's really cute, but then also at the same time like I have immense 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 satisfaction from like them being like broken because like <laughs> their ego needs to be taken from like a 10 to like negative two you know what i mean like nah like no take the fucking ego down sweetie like no okay like i'm fine with confidence but ego can take the fuck step down like thank you excuse me i don't fucking appreciate ego at all at all um uh, goodness anyways um so yeah i've been reading a lot of historical fiction and like they have like an, a lot of like old phrases and like sentences and like language that i have like running in my head because i've like literally read at least six books that are historical fiction in a row just in the past like um week or so um it might have been more than that, actually, because some of them I didn't finish. Some of them I read, like, halfway through, and then I was like, I can't do this. Goodbye. Um, but, like, needless to say, I've been reading a lot of historical fiction, and, like, uh, 
like those like the old sayings and words have been stuck in my head so like I've been like randomly saying them or like my language has kind of improved I don't know um if that makes any sense it could even just be in my imagination but like I don't know um <laughs> yeah but um today was interesting because like aside from like my recent addiction to historical fiction hey that rhymed um like at lunch today it was kind of odd <laughs> because I was just like reading alone because like one of my friends she needed to do like some homework so like she wasn't sitting with me and then the other friend that sits with me like she was sick so like neither of them were sitting with me so I was sitting alone and I was totally fine with that I was like I got my book for keeping company you know what's sad <laughs> that I actually like sometimes <laughs> prefer the company of a book to people, um, even friends, <laughs> um, whoops, you know, it's fine, um, but, um, so anyways, I was just, like, reading alone, like, laying down, because, like, we have, a like, a spot in the courtyard that's, like, under the tree so like it's in the grass too so like I just kind of like and I really love that because like it's in the shade and also the grass is like kind of like not damp but like cool and like not damp but like it just feels cool and like you can tell that there's moisture in it obviously because it's like plant life but like I don't know like it just feels nice to like lay in the grass in the shade anyways so like I was reading laying down in the grass like in the shade whatever and this guy, like, walked past me, and I recognized him, so I was like, hey, and he was just kind of like, hi, and then he, like, gradually, like, slowed down, and I was like, okay, like, dude, because, like, I saw him out of the corner of my eye, like, just, like, slowing down, because, like, he was going pretty fast, and then, like, I said hi to him, and he, like, gradually slowed down, and I was kind of like, what? <laughs> and then he, like, stopped, and then he turned around, and he, like, started walking back to me, and I was like, Okay. and I was like hey what's up and he was like oh I'm good and then he just like started talking to me like I don't even remember fully what our conversation was about but I think like it had something to do with like societal norms or something and like he just like sat down and continued talking to me and I was kind of like uh. um <laughs> not that I hate people <laughs> but I hate people <laughs> so <laughs> um Kindly get the fuck out of my space. That's what I was thinking. But I didn't say it. And I was polite. And I was like, hey, like, let's debate. Sure. Like, it's not like I would prefer reading my book at all. Mm, nope. Certainly not. Um, <laughs> so, like, he was talking to me. And I was kind of like, mm, hi. La, 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 la. But then, okay, here's the thing with this kid. I know him. <laughs> very, very distinct character this boy has. Um, mm. <laughs> He's very smart. Almost too smart. Because he thinks that his opinion, because of his intelligence, is on a higher level than anybody else's. So he's, like, very pompous and, like, contemptuous. I don't know if that's a word, but, like, I think it's a word, so, like, you know, like, those are words I would use to describe him on his high horse, if you will. Um, so, like, when we're in class together, because we've had a few classes together, he's, like, always, like, raising his hand, which is fine. Like, I raise my hand quite a bit, too, especially if I'm interested in, in class. But, like, the way that he talks is just so patronizing that you're kind of, like, bully boy like chill and like he almost has like an argument to anything and everything so like even something the teacher says he doesn't agree with he'll raise his hand and like outright like disagree with the teacher which I mean you have that right but like also <laughs> I mean I trust the teachers not to like affect our grade based off like of differing opinions like our school's not like that thank god because otherwise I would not be at that school because like the injustice of that would just be like too much i would either take it to the fucking office and be like excuse me this is fucking wrong or i would literally just leave school because like no like i don't fucking deal with that like 
hell to the fucking hell. Like, excuse me. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna have my grade jeopardized because you're being a petty ass fucking bitch. Okay, anyways. So, um, he's just like very like aggressive in his intelligence. And like, so when he like started talking to me, I was expecting like some kind of like pompous attitude, but he was actually really sweet. So I was like, oh, okay, like, I'll give this guy a chance. Like, he's being kind of sweet. And I've, He's kind of a loner, um, for good reason, I won't lie to you, like, he's kind of, um, like I said, patronizing and rude and, like, thinks his opinion is above anybody else's and, like, I admire him for that to a fault because, like, it shows that he has, like, self-confidence and I'm all for that, um, and it also shows that, like, he, like, has enough of it that, like, he's not afraid to be himself, um, or, like, show something that he's, um, confident about. Like, something that he, like, appreciates in his character, which I can, like, respect. Because a lot of kids at school don't have that. Like, a lot of kids at school, like, go with the crowd and conform to their little groups and their cliques. Or they conform to, like, so social norms of, like, what looks good. And then a lot of them, if they have confidence, it's because they're with their friends or they're with like or they're like know they're attractive and so they have confidence because of that which is so shallow if you have confidence purely because you're attractive like that is beyond shallow like who what like your physical appearance literally has nothing to do with your character why do people respect other people purely because of how they look or disrespect them purely because of how they look like that literally makes no sense like it like it bugs me so much that people like judge others based off their appearance so much like i'm just like okay <clears throat> i either hate you or love you but that's because of how you talk to me and how we converse like not how you fucking look okay like it wouldn't matter to me if some like very respectable gentleman in a suit or something like walked up to me and had a decent conversation with me or if like that same man was dressed in like homeless clothes or whatever have you and like walked up to me and had the same exact conversation like i would not treat them any differently like i mean obviously like you can kind of tell if someone's like intimidating or like dangerous because like sixth sense like you know like sometimes people have like an intense like you just get like a odd feeling with them but like that has nothing to do with their physical appearance that happens to do with the way that they look at you or the way that they present themselves that has nothing to do with physical appearance and like it frustrates me to no end that people judge others on physical appearance like i just cannot i cannot deal with it like i am oh my god <laughs> like it hmm Anyways, <laughs> mm, okay, um, I, I, mm, I, I, mm, 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 mm. and we have to, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I just, I just need a moment, I need a moment, <laughs> um, I'm fine, I'm fine, like, we're good, <laughs> um, yeah, but like, it just, mm. <clears throat> anyways so this kid like walks up to me i'm kind of expecting him to be like his typical usual arrogant self he's not but i'm still kind of like i would rather be reading than conversing with this kid but like you know it's fine like i'll just continue the conversation anyway and so we continue and like it starts off kind of nice and fine and like i'd prefer to be reading but like it's an okay conversation so far whatever then he starts talking about his dad and i'm just kind of like well, abrupt subject change, buddy, much like what? And he talks about, um, like his dad is like a stay at home dad, and like he talks about how, like, how his dad, he like he doesn't like his dad because he thinks that his dad is like too, like, um, like too, like, nice or delicate or something. And I was just like, <sighs> and then, and then. And then this boy said, I'd honestly prefer for my mom to be the stay-at-home parent if I have to have a stay-at-home parent. And I was like, Okay. Oh. Respect. Angela, respect. 
like I was just like do not do not do not yell at him do not freak out nope we're fine nope we're fine do not confrontation you don't like confrontation do not do not do not do not confrontation nope we're good and I was just like repeat repeat don't do it don't do it and I was just kind of like well um <coughs> I um politely disagree <laughs> and he was just kind of like looked kind of surprised that I disagreed with him first of all and I was kind of like bully just because you're intelligent does not mean your opinion is above fucking mine. Excuse me, we literally stand on the same fucking ground. Therefore, we're on the same fucking level, buddy. Like, get off your fucking high horse! Like, Jesus! Okay, anyways. So, <laughs> like... <sighs> like, politely disagree because, like, I personally think that, if anything, like, both of your parents should be working if, like they need to be working and I personally don't have a problem with like your dad I don't see the problem in your dad being a stay-at-home dad like is he stay-at-home dad because he needs to take care of your younger siblings because that's what I assumed and he said yeah and then I was like hmm really like well it seems to me that he has a really good I like good thing going for being like a stay-at-home dad because he's taking care of your siblings and he was like yeah but like my mom could do that and I was like Hmm. I then proceeded to ask him, why do you think your mom would be better at that? And he was just kind of like, I don't know. He was just kind of like, you know, I think in physical form, my dad is stronger than my mom. So like, and I was like, oh no, boy. What <laughs> would you say from now on? And thankfully, oh my god, my gay ass friend who was like, um, out doing her homework, like, came back, like, before you could even finish this sentence, because I was like, this close, boy, this, this close to being like, okay, boy, like, we're done with this conversation, goodbye, and she came up and was like, hi, and I was like, oh my god, my gay best friend, you here, even though she's not my best friend, but like, you know what, whatever, she was my best friend in that moment, because she saved me, like, oh, I hate confrontation, but like, this boy was getting me this close you know like I was I was pretty damn near close to like <clears throat> oh whew, you know like oh I was mm, I was mm, hmm, hmm. I'm a polite person you know like I try to be nice but like you know if you're <clears throat> mm, it's a free country but like oh, boy <laughs> anyways so like my gay friend came over and I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy to see you. Like, oh my god, I almost like cried tears of joy because I was like, oh, she saved me. Like, oh, she also saved this guy's balls because like, I was this close, man. I was this close. <sighs> she saved my dignity and his balls. So like, we good, fam. Like, we're so good. He's so lucky. I am so lucky. We're so good. And like, she saved me and she like interrupted. She's like, hi guys. And I was like, girl, I could hug you right now. I could kiss you on the mouth because we're both gay. But like, you know, she ain't into that life. Oh my God. But like, I mean, she's gay, but like, she's also like not really interested in dating anybody right now, which understandable. <laughs> I'm just a desperate asshole, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, so phone is almost dying. 5%. Mm. Um... Yeah, but like, so yeah, she saved me and then he was like clearly uncomfortable with her because she's kind of eccentric, I'm not gonna lie, like she's pretty goofy and like I'm pretty reserved so like I felt like he was more comfortable with me plus like we know each other so like, we well, kind of know each other and he was like, you could tell he's uncomfortable the minute that she like appeared and he was just kind of like, mm, and then he like got up and like left and he was like, nice talking to you and then he just continued walking on. I was like, oh, thank God. I was at this close like oh and I was like girl and I was like talking to her I was like oh my god you saved me so much sweetie like I was I was th mm. and then I talked to her about what we were talking about she's like oh my god girl like you have good self restraint I was like I know sweetie I know like oh <laughs> my inner feminist was just, like screaming so loudly but like I kept her quiet like you know like I am chill like I'm fine um <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah and he's none the wiser but then like yeah <sighs> and then like I don't know uh, yeah like we almost got into a tussle but like I didn't get into a tussle cause like I'm a respectable lady I got this you know 
oh my god, the historical fiction is really affecting me. Like, holy shit, respectable lady, me? The fuck? No. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> but like, I don't know, like, I just hate confrontation. So like, I didn't want to argue with him, but like, also at the same time, like, boy. You trying to piss me off. Like, it literally seemed like he was trying <laughs> to piss me off, but like, he wasn't. Like, next thing you know, he would have been like, I love Trump, and I would have been like, fuck you, no, we're done here. Um, yeah. Or, next thing you know, I'm Catholic! Like, nothing against Catholic, well, mm, religion in general, we've been over this. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, he was just very, 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 very riding on thin ice with me, like, and he didn't even know it. Cause like I have that much of a resting bitch face that he couldn't even tell. He was just like, girl, like, hmm. or maybe he's just bad at reading people. Because I've been told I'm like an open book. People can read my emotions pretty, pretty blatantly. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm pretty bad at hiding my emotions. But I'm. Good. I used to be really good at lying about them. But like now I don't really lie anymore. Like at all. So like, you know, <sighs> but like. I don't know, like, I, mm, I don't know, like, I guess if people paid attention to my face, facial, fa <sighs> facial expressions, um, they would be able to tell what I was thinking, but, like, because people really don't pay attention to people's facial expressions that much, um, like, nobody is able to really tell what I'm thinking, like, they can, like, hear what I'm saying, but, like, not really, I'm, like, I don't know, like, I'm pretty, like, level-headed, like, quiet reserved person like in public but like once i'm by myself like hello once i'm with people that i'm close to or when i'm by myself like hello eccentric me comes out like hmm. um yeah <laughs> um yeah oh my god it's hot i'm sweaty i'm gross hi nice to meet you um yeah like i don't know like also somebody stepped on my glasses today I don't know who, but, like, somebody stepped on my glasses, and now, like, one part of the frame is bent out of place, and, like, it doesn't sit right on my face anymore, like, slips off, and, like, it's really annoying, and I'm just like, boo, can we not? Like, I kind of need you to see, otherwise I'm literally fucking blind, and, like, it, it wasn't there. Like, it's just, ugh. Today was not my day, you know? I mean, it, it, it wasn't a sad day. I mean... <laughs> I'm always kind of sad. Like, let's be honest here. Just a little bit of sadness. Like, every day of the year. Just a little bit of sadness. Always there. Because, like, you know, with depression, it never escapes. You know, like, <laughs> sad but true. <gasps> Speaking of which, I forgot to take my antidepressants. Um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> um, is it too late? What time is it? It's 8.52. Like, we're not too late. Also, my phone is at 3%. Holy shit, we're gonna... We're gonna end it here, because, like, you know, don't want my phone to die. It's gonna die anyways. Fuck, man. Ugh. I'm so bad at keeping charge on my phone. Like, it's incredibly sad. But in my defense, this phone charges, like, so fucking slow. Like, it literally takes, like, two hours for it to charge up to, like, 50%. Why? Why does it take that long? Like, excuse me. In what world is that, like... <sighs> Why? Why must you do this? Also, there's an ant crawling on my leg. Hello. I can feel you, you little fucking fucker. Like, Jesus. Okay, anyways. I hate bugs. I don't know why there's so many ants. Actually, I do. Like, I snack way too much. And, like, accidentally left, like, a chocolate wrapper in my, in my room last week. And, like, ever since then, ants have been, like, incessantly in my room. <sighs> I need to, like, stop snacking. But, like, there's... It's, ugh, it's irresistible. Like, excuse me. I'm a giant ass foodie and like excuse me aunt get the fuck off anyways so mr Ant's pansing needs to get the fuck off me before i fucking crush him you know what don't fall okay we, we fell okay anyways so it makes sense i'm kind of kneeling right now because like i don't ow that yeah, hurt um because like i have you on the window seal and like <laughs> I don't have, like, a stool or something short for me to, like, sit in and, like, still be level. So, like, I'm kneeling and it kind of, like, is not the most stable place for a clumsy girl. Like, you know? 
Also, really need to stop talking. My phone is at 2% now. <laughs> the joy. Um, yeah. We're... Is there another fucking ant on me? Oh, oh my god, if I swear. It's the other, like, mm, you touch me one more time. I'm, mm, I'm not like, <sighs> I freaking hate ants. Like, oh my god, you need to stop snacking, but like, food is so good. <sighs> Damn, I'm like way too addicted to food. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm really, like, it's really good, okay? I'm so glad I'm over, like, my appetite weird thing that was, like, going on a couple weeks ago. Like, it's over now. Like, hello, thank God. <sighs> I was, like, dying without my food. I'm just gonna, like, put it out there. <gasps> but also, when I get my wisdom teeth, I'm gonna have to drink nasty-ass smoothies for, like... <sighs> I wonder if you can, like, blend, like... That would probably taste nasty, though. But could you like blend burgers? Hmm. You know what? No, we're not. We're not. No. Nope. Creative mind, you need to shut down right now because like that's disgusting. You cannot have a burger smoothie. Like that's gross. But like, it's better than an average smoothie. Or it might be. I don't know. I haven't had it before. Like, has anybody else made like a burger smoothie? Probably not. Also, <laughs> my phone is still a percent, like two percent. So you need, like, you need to stop talking right now. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty, it's gross. <laughs> I need to take a shower tonight. It's been a few days. Like, <laughs> I'm a nasty ass hoe. Like, pfft, we've been over this. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah, like, <laughs> needless to say, like today was frustrating, but surprisingly, not that sad. Not that sad. So like, you know, we're good. Like. I was not that sad. I was more frustrated than anything. Um, cause like that boy was just like on my last nerve. But like, I sound like a mother on my last nerve. Like who the fuck says that other than mothers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to be a mom. Like that's gross. Okay. Anyways, <sighs> people always compare me to a mom though. Like ever since I got my glasses and they transition, everybody's like, oh my God, the mom is here. And I'm just like, I'm not a mom. <laughs> I, like, hopefully will never be a mom. And they also said, like, my hair looks like mom hair. Just because I have mousy, brown, boring-ass locks does not mean I'm a mom. Anyways, so, I need to, like, shower, read some more of my delicious novel, and struggle not to punch a fictional character. More like strangle them. But, like, you know what? It's fine. Um, <laughs> can't even touch them, unfortunately, because they're fictional! Sometimes my mind <laughs> and rationality, like, do not fucking match up. Because, like, you know, books tend to do that to you. Like, <sighs> fantasy land is fun. But, like, also not realistic, sweetie. Ooh. Also, I have this, like, cyst that reappeared on my wrist. Like, it's... I always get cysts on this wrist. Like, right here. Like, always. Like, it's in the same exact fucking spot. Like, it keeps going away and then reappearing. And I'm just like, can you stop? Like, I'm tired of you. Like, Jesus. <sighs> Phone is at 1% now. We're getting the video because, like, I need to stop talking. Um, <laughs> goodbye.